Hi, my name is Trevor Tysman from KVansTraining.com, and today we're going to be focusing on your vertical leap. We're going to be working with the single leg vertical tuck jumps. Oftentimes, as athletes, we're going to be needing to be explosive off one foot. So the single leg tuck jump is going to help us focus on power, building from the floor up, all on one leg. We're also going to be overloading that stretch reflex, getting us more muscle activation with the reactive stretch core. We're going to provide resistance straight down so that every single jump, we have to push through the resistance and become more explosive, building power in our hips as well as our calf and down through our body all the way up into a higher jump. The single leg vertical tuck jump is going to be ran the same way as the double leg. We're going to be needing our anchors to be just behind the jumpers, working in their hand on their back to be sure that they're keeping themselves safe, keeping some space between them and the athlete. Also, you're gonna keep the weight on your front foot so that each individual jump doesn't pull you off your center and you can really maintain that same level of resistance throughout the entire workout. Athletes, you need to find a rhythm, a center of balance and explosiveness within your body with only using that one leg. The key here is to get off the ground as fast as you can. Hesitating at the bottom will not increase our verticals. We have to be explosive and as soon as we touch the ground, we've gotta get right back off even though it's one leg. Remember, this is an advanced move. If you're not quite advanced enough, explosive enough to stay on that one foot getting right back off the ground, then go ahead and use two legs and complete the reps and sets with your two legs. That way that we really maintain that quickness off the ground. Reps and sets need to be structured with the proper rest periods to make sure that we maximize our results. Do no more than four to six resisted sets with only six jumps. These six jumps need to maintain that explosiveness we've talked about, and then go ahead and take about a minute and a half to two minutes in between. If you're a little bit more advanced and you can maintain that quickness off the ground with max vertical height through the resistance, then you can push the jumps to eight to 10, but I would suggest going no more than 10 reps so that we can maintain max height each individual jump. The sets will vary as well. If you're a beginner, stick to two to three sets until we gain a little bit more of that explosive endurance. If you're a little bit more advanced, stretch the sets from six to eight and really increase your vertical today. If you're looking to improve your vertical with the reactive stretch cord and work with drills such as the single leg jump tuck, then head to kbandstraining.com and let's get started training today.